Jean Crane. And I'm Ed Begley. In just 30 seconds, we'll be joining you as special guests on Stump the Star. <laughs> From Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world, the fastest half hour in television. Brought to you by the Ralston Purina Company, makers of wheat checks, rice checks, and corn checks, with all three in checks mates. And now here's your host, Mike Stokey. <laughs> When you two finished talking, can I say hello to the people? Thank you and welcome to Stump the Stars. We've got two great guest stars and, of course, our regulars here, if I may introduce them. To my right on the challenging team, first lovely Ruta Lee. And then Mr. Hans Conried. And finally, Mr. Stubby K. And over here, finally back on the champion side, we have Mr. Sebastian Cabot. Mr. Ross Martin. And Miss Beverly Goss. Won't you be seated and make yourselves comfortable there? On our guest stars, first we have the beautiful and delightful actress, one of my favorites on the screen, Miss Jean Crane. Jean. You do look lovely. I like that. Will you join your team over here, please, Jean? And we're very proud to have the Oscar-winning gentleman who kept himself on the air a moment ago. A few extra seconds, did you notice, before he said what show he's going to be on. <laughs> The wonderful uh, supporting actor of Sweet Bird of Youth, actually he was the star, Mr. Ed Begley. Ed. He is a sweet bird. Good to have you with us, Ed. Sit right down here next to Chucky, if you will, please. All right, you've met the stars on our show. We'll be ready to start the game in just a moment. But first, we invite you all to sing along with our singing commercial. If you're a person who longs in the morn to savor the flavor of fresh roasted corn, but you're tired of cereals limp and forlorn, try corn checks from Checkerboard Square. They're sunny corn kernels, not flaky or thin, the best shape that any corn's ever been in. They're new and they're different, there's nothing akin to corn checks from Checkerboard Square. These square-shaped delights are so crunchy that incredible though it may seem, they never, no, never get flimsy and soft when they're sitting in milk or in cream. So pick up new corn checks when you're in the store. Your family will love them and clamor for more. That toasted corn flavor makes friends by the score. New corn checks from Checkerboard Square. Ladies and gentlemen, starting us off, Mr. Hans Conry. Yes. Yes. I'd like to ask a at the top of the show. You're heading for Chicago, huh? Well, yes, I'm obliged to leave town, yes. Hey, I, I'm going to go to Tokyo. Will you tell me all about it? You're practically you're Japanese, take, aren't you? Well, practically. Not virtually, but practically. <laughs> I'll make this fine linguistic difference to you later. Well, in a sense, you're not virtually anything. Yours are sent in by Ingrid Radecki oh, from Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. Wait for the bell and good luck. Hans Conrad starts us off with a book title. The Case of the Missing Headhunter or Whatever Happened to Francis X. Bushman. Book title. Case, case of, the, of the... The Case of the... Lost... Lo uh, wandering... Two uh, syllables. First syllable. Archer. Bow, arrow. Bow, miss. Bow, miss. Miss. Taken. Mister, mister, miss, uh, mystery. Miss Plate. The Case of miss, the Miss... Miss uh, Ring. Miss, miss Ring. Miss, ring. miss uh, Wedding. Miss... miss Miss. Mrs. Lassie. M Girl. <laughs> ring. What do you got? Miss and ring. Miss. 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 Mystery. Miss. Ring. Miss. Miss. Missing. Miss. 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 Ring. Oh, miss. The, oh, the case missing. of the missing. Uh, Two okay. syllables. Missing. First syllable. Uh, head. Uh, head. Or uh, uh, head, head the chopper. Uh, head. Uh, head. Hunter. Headhunter. Head 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 the case of the missing headhunter. Head head or where is my cranium? Or. First syllable. First syllable. Where. Where. Who. What. Who. What. Who. Oh. What? Oh, oh. Yeah, the case what? of the missing headhunter or... Oh. What happened to my... What is... Wh what, what happened? Which? Which? What? 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 What was... What's going on here? What a, what a, what a, what a... What? what? Sounds like... Sounds like... All. Uh, what? Uh, every, uh, every... Every... Uh, every uh, all. Fall. 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 What call? 
Uh, call. Wh Ca call. Oh. What call. every? What, what, what every? Whatever, whatever, happened, whatever happened to, to Baby, baby Jane? Jane. <laughs> <laughs> whatever happened to proper name? Uh, what, proper name? To uh, movie, uh, movie. Title. An old time star. Old time old movie. Time whatever star. happened to Silent Pictures? Uh, to Raymond Navarro? Uh, ben Horner! Ben Horner! Uh, ben Horner. Uh, 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 oh! I thought that would be the hardest thing. Look. In case you're wondering what it really means, the case of the missing head under whatever ever happened to Francis X. X Bushman, Bushman yes. on the thing. But you you said X Bushman. See, that was a beautiful Francis. I forgot though, you you he was your son in style and picture. He still rides in a chariot. Ninety-two seconds and Sebastian Cabot, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Sandy? Yes, that, uh, I really thought that was going to be terribly I thought hard. we had them. But you're so good, you're going to whip through yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whip. Yours That's is suggested clue. by Mrs. Jones Whip. <laughs> Joan Whip Solve, no, Joan Solve from Kew Gardens, New York. Wait for the bell. Good luck. And for right, Sebastian Daddy. Cabot, it's a want ad. Sick hippopotamus wishes to meet veterinarian. Object, a hippo hypo. Okay. What is it? It's a want ad. Here we go. This sick, proper, proper name, name, whole idea. Is it a comic? No, Walrus. Whale. Hippopotamus. Wishes to meet well alligator. <laughs> Wait a moment. It's like a doctor. A veterinarian. Oh. Sick hippopotamus wishes to meet veterinarian, veterinarian. Object. object. A. a. A hippo, hippo, a hippo, 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 uh, Hans Conry took 92, and little old Sebastian took 42, so he put his team ahead by 50 seconds. But I must say, you did a beautiful job, but that... Well, anyway, uh, almost every one ad is wishes to meet or wants to meet, and uh, Hans had the case of thee, and all you do is bend down, and they come through with the case of thee, in case you're wondering how fast they are. Miss Ruta Lee, will you step up? Hello, Hi, Mike. Ruta, how are you? Fine, thank you. Listen, this is going to be a real dinner tonight. How do you feel with an Oscar winner sitting next to you? Well, I'm even more nervous than I usually you am. You think it'll rub off? I have to turn in a good performance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ruta. Here you are. Wait for the bell, and good luck. Instead of the stumper she sent in, Ruta Lee must act out the name and address of the sender in her. Mrs. E. Wiggler, 50 Crane Street, Depew, New York. What is it? Oh, an address. An address. An address. An address. Miss. Whole thing. Whole thing. Uh, chicken. Dumb chicken. 
Duck. Duck. Peacock. A duck. Peacock. No. no. Uh, Feathers. Goose. Rain, a goose. 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 Bird. Goose. Fly. Duck. Ostrich. Uh, 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 pelican. Pelican. Uh, 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 Fifty crane. Drive. Road. Road. Drive. Road. Road. Lane. Uh, Avenue. Court. Street. Oh. Well, you didn't get it, but it was caught. I'm just sorry you didn't get to Depew because this I wanted to see. <laughs> you didn't realize it, Ruta, but you happen to have had a crane right yeah, on the right show here. here. Yeah. So, 120, here we go, Ross Martin. Am I up? Yes, sir, you are up. Right. Ross Martin. We had such a response from acting out your name and address once in a while instead of the stumper that we'll do it ever so often. So far, we've been unsuccessful twice, but they've been wonderful. Uh, John Smith, send in one, will you? Watch the John Smiths come in. Ross? Lucky thing we didn't have that Ben-Hur thing because none of us are old enough to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is just by uh, G.W. Nichols from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you. Well, let's see what Ross Martin does with this crazy book parody. He canceled his shutters from Brazil because Latins make lousy louvers. It's a book parody. Book parody. They, he, they, he. Two syllables. First syllable. He can. Can. He 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 can. Can same as sick. Can't, same as sick. Can't, can't, can't swear. Window. Sill. Cancel. Cancel. His. He canceled his. Paper. Newspaper. New York Times. He's opening here. He's a window. His shutter. He canceled his shutters. Canceled his shutters. Shutters. Two. Turn around. To to Hello. go to, to come in to enter to uh, from he can't from. each other's from from Susan from Robot. name <laughs> from, 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 yeah, from far away proper name from, from France name. from France from Italy Paris from uh, oh hold it. cheered him on the way he did Brazil. I thought that was beautiful. He canceled his shutters from Brazil because Latins make lousy louvers. Is that beautiful? Let's go to the scoreboard and see how we stand. Excellent job, Ross. Ruta took 120, Ross 120, and we remain with the champions 50 seconds ahead. We'll go on shortly with the rest of our players, but right now, here's Lee Goodman with some very sound advice. Yeah, da, 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 da. There we are. You know, a lot of people miss out on the enjoyment of Czech cereal simply because they will not take the time to eat a good breakfast in the morning. Well, I've hung one of our checkerboard tablecloths right outside the door of our, my restaurant here to remind passers-by to come in and have a bowl of Czech. Oh, here comes a gentleman now. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? You know, I, I just saw your uh, checkerboard sign out there. I was on my way to work and reminded me to take time and have a nice bowl of checks. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, which of the check cereals would you like? Wheat checks, rice checks, or corn checks? They're all square shaped and all mighty delicious. Well, now I don't know. Let's see. How about some uh, wheat checks? Wheat That's checks? Like, yeah. Right. Yes, rugged little biscuits of shredded wheat. Yeah. It looks good. With a special whole grain flavor that really appeals to grown-up taste. Okay, can, can, can I try one of those? Sure. Yeah, let's see. 
Mmm, those are good. Aren't yeah. they? But li listen, I've, I've got to go now. You'll have to excuse me. Sure. Yeah, I've got to get back to work. Right. <laughs> All right, men, bring in the hoses. It's in the kitchen. Let's go. Now, with great pride, I introduce this year's Oscar winning supporting actor, Mr. Ed Begley. Ed, how are you? So good to have you on. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't be happier because everyone loves this man. He's, he's such a wonderful person to work with. And uh, in about two minutes, he's going to have to give back his Oscar. Yes, I would think so. <laughs> you know that he got me a job in Westerville, Ohio at Otterbein College? <laughs> he's big in Westerville, Ohio. Yeah, You're sure kidding, is. Honest, I, Yes, I played J.B. there all due to his... Uh, uh, writing a letter stating how wonderful it was. I'm a big man in Westerville. That's great. Listen. Gotta run for mayor there. Uh, Hans, yeah. you're going to Glendale next week. Fix him up. Ed, <laughs> uh, you're suggested by Stephen Stidinger or Stidinger from Lewistown, Pennsylvania. There you Lewistown, are, sir. Wait for the bell. Good luck. Well, for lovable Ed, it's a wind-up doll. Dracula doll. You don't wind it up. You pound a stake in its heart. <laughs> Put it down, Ed. Put it down here. Uh, what, 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 is what, it? what is it? What is it, Ed? Monster! You wind it up, you wind and it up, and it it chases you down the hall. It, <laughs> you, 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 you wind it up and you hit, hit, hit slam, uh, slam, kill, and it, and it, break. And it Hat. smashes, crushes, you destroy, uh, and you you crush, you, you smash, hit, destroy, you slam, smash, you smash, you break, you break up, you break. I have to tell you, in fairness to Ed, we have done a switch on this, so recap and Ed catch them on this. Frankenstein doll. Frankenstein doll. Frankenstein doll. Frankenstein doll. Frankenstein doll. Monster doll. Monster doll. Frankenstein. Doctor Frankenstein. Monster doll. Frankenstein. Go back further than that. Dracula. Dracula. Dracula doll. You wind it up. You wind it up and it drinks your blood. No, not Dracula. You, you, you. You can't. You can't. You can't. You won't. You mustn't. You can't. You, mu you can't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. You mustn't. You ought not. You'll never. You, you, you couldn't. You, you won't. Can't. You won't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You you wouldn't. You, you couldn't. wouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. Would. Would. Should. Could. Could. We only have three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mustn't. You can't. You dare not. You will not. You don't. You don't. And you, you don't. don't. You don't wind it up. You don't wind it up. You just smash it. You don't wind it up. You you smash. Break it up. You, you break smash it, you it up. Break it up. You, you hammer it. it up. You, you stab it up. You destroy it. You twist it up. <laughs> you ruin it. You hit it. Flash it. You break it up. Dracula. Dracula, Dracula doll. You don't, don't wind, wind it up. up. You, you bury it. You uh, you you drive a stake through its heart. You drive a stake through its heart. Yeah. If you hit it. You kill it. You 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 wolf it down. You 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 growl. You growl. You growl. And you scare the heck out of it. Yeah. It's beautiful, Ed. You're doing it perfectly. You had everything, even the punchline, except you pound the stake in its heart. Exactly what he was doing. Dracula doll, you don't wind it up. You pound a stake in its heart. Yes. Thank you, Ed. It's 120. And here we go with Miss Jean Crane. How are you, Jean? <laughs> I wish we could have four minutes to have him up here on this. Jean, you just finished a picture that I can't pronounce. Well, it's very simple. It's the famous queen of Egypt with a beautiful profile called Nefertiti. Nefertiti. Where did you shoot that? In Rome. Oh, you shot? You were over there shooting, too? Parliamo in Italiano un po'. Answer her, quick. She is so lovely. I, I, you got a close-up on her, didn't you? Because this is the end. I'm just Don't waiting to have him do another one. Don't get that terrified expression in my eyes. <laughs> All right, Gene, yours is suggested by Mrs. Edna Garys from Fresno, California. Wait for the bell and good luck. It's a movie parody for a lovely Gene right. Brain. Ballet for Baby, <laughs> the wet side story. Deep breath. All right, here we go. Let's go. Here we go. What is it? This is a, uh, why, movie, uh, movie? Movie? Movie parody. Movie parody, okay. Movie parody. okay. Nefertiti. No. Swan Lake uh, Ballerina. Ballerina. Ballet. 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 Eh? Or, or, or ballet, ballet, dance, ballet, ballet. Or. What is that? What is, what is this? Or, 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 or
Ballet for babies. Baby. Children. Children. Grandma. Babies. Children. Babies. Ballet for babies. Children for babies. Colon. 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 The. See, now it's a movie. Uh, movie pirate. No, there's no no no. The. 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 Um, the ballet for babies. The. The one. The three-cornered set. Three-cornered mountain. No. The, wait, 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 the what? what the wait, hold it, hold it. The scared. Wait, the rain. The rain. The, the wet. Dew, the, the wet. wet. The wet. The wet diapers. No. <laughs> the wet. The wet. Uh, the wet. Nurse. Where? No. The wet. Wet. Bed. The wet. Well, what is that? <laughs> it's a back, a dress, and a side. The, 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 the wet side. The wet side. The wet side. The wet side. Very good. Very good. Ballet for babies, the wet side story. Is that good? They should have seen your expression on wet. <laughs> Beautiful ballerina, too, on it. Ballet for babies, the wet side story. You pound the stake and it's hard. All right, that's six of our players. Let's go to the scoreboard and see how we stand. After three pairs, Ed Begley, 120. Jean Crane, 74, putting her team even further ahead by 96 seconds. Now let's pause for just a moment while Bill Baldwin tells you how you too can join in the fun on Stumper Stars. Well, thanks, Mike. We invite you to send in as many Stumpers as you like each week. Now, we prefer postcards. And in case of duplication, the decision of our judges is final. Address your postcards to Stump the Stars, Checkerboard Square, St. Louis, Missouri. Now, those whose names and suggestions were used on tonight's show will receive a Polaroid Land Camera Kit including the automatic 10-second camera with electric eye which chooses exposures, as well as carrying case, film, and flash bulbs. And a selection of American Tourister lightweight luggage with molded one-piece shell and handles cushioned with foam rubber for easy traveling. And if you stump the stars, that is, if it took them the full two minutes, you will also win this world-famous Amana Frio Frost Freezer, holding 525 pounds of food at even zero temperature featuring Amana's remarkable frost magnet that prevents frost from ever forming. So get those Stumper postcards in the mail first thing tomorrow. And now, back to Mike. Thank you. All right, here we go with our two anchor men, beginning from the challenging side of the Mr. Stubby Case. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Stubby. Right, right. You know, Mike Stakey will give me one, and I'll drive it into the ground. <laughs> Stubby here is suggested by Joseph Barnett from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you. And Stubby draws the gag saying, My wife is shaped like Venus, the planet, not the statue. Gag. Gag, 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 gag saying. saying. Gag saying. I. My. My. my wedding. Wife, my wife my is so. My wife is. is shapely. Sh uh, shaped. Our like. Shaped. A. Shaped like. Oh, Venus Camilo. Venus Camilo. Venus. Like Venus. Venus. My wife is shaped like Venus. Her. She. The. Whole idea. The sky. The heavens. The heavens. The sky. Stars. The stars. The moon. The, the, the moon, planets the revolve around her. The the planets. Planets. <laughs> planets. Comma. The planets. Planets. Comma. The planet. planet. Shaped like Venus. The planet. Comma, never, nothing, nothing, no, can't, never, doesn't, won't, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, couldn't, won't, won't, won't don't, uh, uh, will don't, not, no, no, never, never, can't, never forget more. It, forget it, forget it. Sounds, sounds like, like hot, 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 not, hot, not, not the, not the statue. <laughs> That's it. My wife is shaped like Venus. It's the planet. Not the statue. Very good, Stubby K. Took you 69 seconds and Miss Beverly Garland. Oh! Oh, you bad. Does it worry you more if you're in the upper spot than it yes, does yes, if you're yes. up front? Yes, yes, yes. I like to right. be in the middle somewhere where I'm well, smashed nice in. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Beverly, yours is suggested by Kenneth Levine right. from St. Louis, Missouri. Wait for the bell and good luck. <laughs> Beverly gets this cutie. Cave woman to cave man. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Slay something. Uh, here we go, man. Here's a quotation. The whole idea. Uh, uh. Oh, boy. Mad. It's a raging. Fury. Monkey. Beautiful oh, woman. Beautiful? No, it's, some, it's a female version of something. Ah. In the past. 
Cave woman. Cave, cave woman. woman. Good man. Two. Cave women. Cave woman to cave two. man. Oh, boy, she's dangerous. Cola. Cola. Never. Never. Don't. 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 Cave woman to cave man. Don't. Sounds like. Just. Don't, don't, don't just. just. Don't, don't just stand don't there. Don't just stand there. <laughs> Hit me. Kill something. <laughs> kill. Like. Uh, like kill. Like. Kill. Hit something! <laughs> Murder something! Never make a something! Hunt something! Double <laughs> kick! Take something! Kill something! Hit! Shoot! Kill. Shoot! Kill. It's like kill. shoot! Kill! Kill! Hunt! Hunt! Die! <laughs> It's the same as dig. Shovel. A dig. Like shovel. Hole. 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 Yeah. Oh. What, what, what are you doing, love? You're digging. I you're see you digging dirt and throwing it over you. That's a mound. A mound. It's a hill. Kill. Kill. It's like kill. Kill. It's kill. kill. Murder. Murder. Assassinate. Assassin. Yeah. Shoot. Sounds like pay. give. Give. Pay. Deal. Pay. Give. Live. Bib. Bay. Give. Live. Bib. Day. Pay. Pay. Say. Rain. 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 If you would reach out, don't just stand there, slay something instead of say something. <laughs> no, he never said say. He didn't even play say. While well, they're getting the scoreboard ready to see which is the winning team, here's a message of particular importance to those of you who have a big day ahead tomorrow. Look at that. Comes breakfast time for you folks with a big day ahead. You sure want to stoke up with the kind of energy you can get from a bowl of wheat check. You see, wheat checks are bite-sized little biscuits of whole grain wheat. With a pronounced whole wheat flavor and a rugged texture that lets you know you're really eating something. That's why we call wheat checks the grown-up cereal from Checkerboard Square. Now let's go to the scoreboard and see which is the winning team. According to the checkerboard, it says that uh, Stubby Gate took 69, Beverly Garland 108. He cut it down, but still winners and still champions, the Sebastian Cabot, Ross Martin, Gene Train, Beverly Garland. We just had 40 seconds. Ed Begley, will you come up and do an extra? Let's have Ed to see if he can do one in 30 seconds here. Play to both teams, suggested right. by Michael Blair, Chicago, Illinois. Wait for the bell. For Ed, it's a gag definition. Pepper, right. sneezing. Here we go, what is it? Gag, gag, gag definition, definition, gag definition. Gag definition. Gag definition. Shake, soft, pepper, pepper, sneeze. Pepper, pepper, sneeze. Pepper, 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 sneeze. Which is it? Pepper or pepper. sneeze? Pepper. Pepper is definition. Sneeze. Pepper sneezer. Sneezing. Pepper sneezing. Pepper sneezing. Pepper sneezing. Pepper sneezing. Pepper sneezing. Pepper sneezing. And brought to you by the Walton Purina Company, makers of wheat checks, rice checks, and corn checks, with all three in checkmate. Join us again next week. Till then, this is Bill Baldwin, and it is the night for the entire gang. This has been a Mike Stokey Enterprises production.